Wake up, Mario. Seriously, you fall asleep on the job way too much. Hello, everybody. Welcome back from more Mario 64. Last time, we cleared everything in Womp's Fortress, which was very surprising. If I can do one world per episode, this Let's Play will be way too short. So, this time, we're going to be entering a new world. And of course, the door slowly opens, reacting to the star power. And in this painting right here, of the ship, this is Jolly Roger Bay, plunder in the sunken ship. Dude, this music is so relaxing. What we need to do, head on down to this sunken ship, and there's an eel. And if we swim past it, it should come out. Or not. Let's swim up for air now. Because I am drowning. And the eel should be out. Now he is. I, I don't know why he doesn't just come out. And we need to swim into this window. Now that we're in the ship, these chests hold a code. Now I forgot what code it was. I think it's this one first. Oh god, I'm a I'm about to drown. Game? Yeah, that's the first one. Nope, not that one. Luckily you're getting free air refill every time you get it wrong. I think it's this one next. Yep, number two. Number three. And number four. Now the water will start to drain, and I want to get up here as fast as I possibly can. Perfect. And the star is in the box. Here we go! Pretty simple and easy if you know how to control the swimming. Up next is, can the eel come out to play? Now the fog has cleared since we've unsunken the ship. And the eel in this game is one of the very nightmare fuelish enemies that you can encounter in this game. I don't know why, I, I, I kind of fear the designs of the eels in the Galaxy games more than just this guy. Maybe it's the sharp teeth and the piercing eyes of this dude. And if we swim close enough, he'll come out. And I'm about to drown. And hopefully he's swimming around now. Is he swimming around? Oh, he apparently reset. So what you want to do is swim close enough so that he comes out to play. And then... Come on. There's a star attached to his tail. And you need to come into contact with it.
and it will become collectible. Where is it? You ass! And there we go. That was asinine. Yeah. Um, next is Treasure of the Ocean Cave. I really hate that eel. Not in the same way that other people do, that it's ooh so scary. No. He freaking killed me. Yeah, enjoy your swimming around freely. I'm not going to bother with that one up. And now... Oh! Read the sign. Keep out, that means you. Ah! Anyone entering this cave without permission will meet certain disaster. Yeah, now the music actually picks up a little bit. Dodge and weave. And there's more treasure chests. Number one. Number two, number three, and number four. Here we go. That was pretty easy. And now it's time for a red coin mission, also known as the 100 coin mission. But, you know, it's like, this This world is fine. Because it's relaxing music and everything, and if you mess up, you've still got the music to keep you company. So, as the name suggests, there are red coins around the ship, and not on the ship. One in this clam here. Another in this one. That should not have hit me. There's a ring of coins around here. There's also a red coin in that clam. Get this coin. I can't believe I collected that as I got hit. And in this clam, there's nothing. I thought there would have been something. There's also a star on that jet right there, which we can't get right now. But eh, it's fine. It's all good. Red coin in this clam. And in our last visit to this cave, I did see a ring of coins and a blue coin switch in this cave. Honestly, I don't really know if there's any need for a speed up for this. Dodge and weave between the falling pillars. Now, I don't think there's any red coins in here. Specifically. There are Goombas. I love sentient pillars that can just turn around and crush you. Get this ring of coins. You can actually stop moving to just sink down if you need to. And around this spike or spiky pillar, there's a ring of coins. I had 69 coins for a second there. And hey, buddy! You gonna prepare a cannon for us? The only cannon in the stage. I'm doing this now so I don't have to later. And let's look around a little. Red coin on top of there. Honestly, I think I might be cutting it close a little bit here with the coin count. Because I can't think of where else to get coins from. 
up on this switch. Nah, I think we'll be fine with the coins. Yeah, I think we'll be fine as long as I don't fall back into the water. Now, where's the star marker? I haven't seen it. So where does the star appear in this stage? Ow. Got this red coin. Jump up here. Yeah. Cutting it really close with the stars. Oh look, they appeared right next to each other. So 100 coin star. And the eight red coin star. And the 100 coin star in this area is called Pirate's Plunder internally. Now there's one more star that we can get right now and that's Blast to the Storm Pillar. But honestly, I think there might be another way to get this one without using the cannon. I might actually just give it a try. If the game didn't kick you out of the stage every time you got a star, just like in Super Mario Odyssey, then it would have been like a lot better to like get the 100 coin star, get the 8 red coin star, and then the star that I'm going for. But it doesn't seem to be wanting us to do that. Just going to use a cannon to blast on over to the ship. Getting hit by that box will hurt. So, don't get hit by the box. Mario, what, what is this? Mario, let's try this again. One more time. I tried a long jump. I guess we're going to have to do it the intended way. Or should I say, the Nintended way. Aim a little bit further up so that we can grab the top. I said, aim a little bit further up so that we grab the top. I said, aim a little bit further up so that we grab on the top. That's good. Jump off and get the star on the platform. Here we go. Blast of the Storm Pillar is done. That means we've only got one more star to get in Jolly Roger Bay. But since we can't get that quite yet, we can... Actually, I want to talk to the toad first. The names of the stars are also hints for finding them. They are displayed at the beginning of each course. You can collect the stars in any order. You won't find some stars, enemies, or items unless you select that specific star. That's called a world state. After you collect some stars, you can try another course. We're all waiting for your help. Well, good thing for you, Toad. You're now no longer locked in this room. And here is the secret aquarium. It's just an eight red coin mission, but it is nice to just swim around, look at all the fish that are also swimming in here. The different colored windows. Honestly, this music as well, it's really relaxing to listen to. Like, a few years back, I had this playlist of music that I would just fall asleep to. And this specific song was in that playlist. Sometimes, even multiple times. As much as I didn't play the original, and I only played the DS version, until now, well... The music is always a good thing to listen to. Mario, why did you float up a little bit there? I guess Mario wanted to listen to more of the music. Here we go!
And with 24 stars, I actually do want to try something. Though there is a sign. Are you using the cap blocks? You really should, you know. To make them solid, you can... To make them solid so you can break them, you have to press the colored cap switches in the castle's hidden courses. You'll find the hidden courses only after regaining some of the power stars. The cap blocks are a big help. Red for wing cap, green for metal cap, and blue for the vanish cap. Thanks for the spoilers. There is something that I do want to try. Through the jet stream. This one requires the use of the metal cap as spoiled by that sign. And what I want to do is quickly swim down and see if I can actually finagle my way into getting this. Maybe I have to swim down. Button mash, button mash, button mash. No, it's pushing me. It's pushing me away. So it looks like I can't get that. But with 24 stars in the bag, we are making a lot of progress. So next time on Super Mario 64, another new world is to be visited. We can't get the last star in Jolly Roger Bay for now, but we'll come back to that when we do. See you guys then.